Hello? Let's look at this question 3 and 4. 3, 4, 5. Question 3. The cost of 3 items at a shop at 72 Ghana CDs, 1,105 Ghana CDs, 216 Ghana CDs. If a customer bought all the three items and received a change of 107 Ghana CDs, how much did he initially give to the shopkeeper? So this is just knowing the total cost of the three items. So you pay this together with this, together with this. That is adding them together. Then if you have a change of 107, how much did you present? Just have this scenario. If the amount that you are paying for the article plus the chain that you were giving will give you the money you have. Do you get that concept? If I have 10 Ghana CDs and I buy something 6 CDs and I'll be giving 4 CDs change. If you want to know how much I gave out, the cost of the item 6 CDs plus the change all together give me the total money so let's do that meaning we are just going to add all of them together so solution so total amount is going to be the addition of all so i'll be having uh let me have the ghana cds let me pick the one that have the highest digit. So I'm having 1,500, no, is 105. That's four digits. The next digit is three. So I'll be having 216 Ghana cities. The next one will be 107. Then finally, I'll be having 72. We are adding all this using the Ghana CDs. So now if you add, you can see from here you'll be having 11. 11 plus 7 will be 18. Plus 2 will be 20. So I have 0, remainder of 2. 2 plus 0 plus 1 will be 3. Plus this will also be 10. So 0 with a remainder of 1. 1 plus 1, 2. Plus 2, 4. Plus this, 5. That's 5. These places, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 is gone. We are left with the last one. We has no digit attached. So we add it together and have this. So therefore, Total amount is going to be 1,500 Ghana CDs. So it means you presented 1,500 Ghana CDs. They will take away their cost with exception of the 107 and give you the 107. So this is what you are looking for. All right. In the diagram, P and Q are two sets and U is the universal set. We have to use the information to answer question 4 and 5. Question 4 says, find the intersection of P and Q. The element that belong to both P and Q. You can see it in there. First of all, if you want, we can get the answer upright, but let's see. If you are asked to find the element of the set P, element of the set P, ignore the circles we are seeing here and the Q. Let's ignore that. All the elements in there belong to P. So you'll be having, beginning from A, B, C, D, E. All these elements are in the circle of P. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They are all in that circle. Then we have Q. We are now going to also ignore the P and the A, B. And look at the circle that contain the Q. And you can see, you see only C, D, E. So if you are looking for the intersection, what is here and here? C, C, D, D, E, E. That is the 
total intersection. What we can say that this is a, a set that belongs to the P. So Q is a subset of P. So our answer is just going to be C D E. That is all we are looking for in that set. Then how many members are in the set Q? How many members are in the set Q? So we have seen that question five. How many members are in the set Q? There are three members or three elements. So I guess you understood? Good. Like, share and comment. Bye-bye.